The Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Matthew Azankuka, says Nigeria has witnessed the ugliest face of corruption in the last eight years of former President Muhammad Buhari's administration. Bishop Kuka stated this on Monday, 10 July 2023, in the state capital at Dukiti, when he delivered a lecture at the 68th anniversary of the call to power of legal icon and the founder of Afe Babalola University at Dukiti, Are Afe Babalola San. The lecture was titled The Future of Constitutional Democracy in Nigeria, imperative of a new constitutional order. We have seen the worst face of corruption in Nigeria about what happened under the Buhari administration. They were not the ones who caused corruption, but I think in the last administration we saw the ugliest face of corruption in many, whether in moral terms, financial terms, or other terms. I don't think we should assume that we are the democracy. We should assume that we are marching towards the democracy, but the hard work is still undone. The cleric who frowned at leaders who limited development to their hometowns urged the federal government to avoid sentiments in the country's democratic journey. We need to think a little bit more clearly and much more creatively about how we can mobilize our people and how ordinary Nigerians can see that being in power is just, not just about opportunity for self-enrichment. Because the sad story, let me put it that way, the very fact that Daura has had the opportunities that it has had, it has never had since its existence. And that even Katsina that is next door has not seen the development that has taken place in Daura. Responding to Bishop Kuka's lecture, the chairman of the discussion panel, former President Olisha Gumbasujo, accused Nigerian lawmakers of not being sensitive to the plights of Nigerians. All elected people by our constitution, their uh, emolument is supposed to be fixed by revenue mobilization and um, uh, uh, commission, but our lawmakers set that aside and they make law and put any um, uh, emolument for themselves. For Lagos-based lawyer and human rights activist Femi Falana, son, President Bola Tinubu-led administration has a lot to do to bring back the lost glory of Nigeria. I'm urging the president to lead an anti-corruption crusade so that this month the largest concentration of black people on earth can take its rightful place in the Committee of Nations. On his part, Are Afeba Balola believes that the 1999 constitution should be replaced with a new one to save the country from imminent collapse. Nigeria is not one country. It's a country of more than 300 nations and tribes. You need a new constitution which will allow each part to develop at its own rate. And at the same time, a nation will now evolve. This call for a new constitution, no doubt, requires the Federalists to come up with new strategies to engage President Bola Tinubu with a view to evolving a more efficient and cost-effective federation that can respond decisively to the perennial public demands. Kyle Dadigbili, reporting for Pop TV News, Adwekiti. People of the Fountain.